Hi, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, we are going to continue with macromolecules and we are going to make a quick review on water. Remember, water is a polar molecule. It has two opposite ends with different partial charge. The O side is partially negative and the H side is partially positive. Each water molecules are able to form four hydrogen bond with neighboring water molecules. And please remember that uh, as water molecule receive heat energy, kinetic energy will increase and uh, the hydrogen bond between the water molecule can constantly break and reform. So let's look at properties of water. Here we have listed seven properties of water and let's look at it one by one. So the first uh, properties of water that water have high specific heat capacity. The large amount of heat energy is required to raise the temperature of water. So water temperature is fairly stable. You need one calorie of energy to increase one gram of water per one degree Celsius. And advantage of these uh, properties is it can stabilize temperature on Earth's surface. The second properties of water is high heat of vaporization. Heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy that the liquid must absorb for one gram to be converted into vapor. Water has high heat of vaporization, so it needs a lot of heat before it can evaporate into water vapor. As uh, the water molecules um, absorb the heat, it will move faster and the hydrogen bond between water molecules is constantly breaking off. So as the liquid evaporates, it will uh, absorb heat energy and the remaining surface will be left cool. It is called as evaporative cooling. So this evaporative cooling will help to stabilize temperature in organism and of water bodies. Example is sweating. Next properties is good solvent. So water is a polar molecule. Remember, it has a um, partially positive and partially negative uh, part. And uh, water can dissolve uh, most of um, substance around it. Okay. So, when an ionic or polar compound is dissolved in water, it will be surrounded by sphere of water molecules called hydration shell. So, you can see here, this is glucose and the glucose is surrounded by water molecule. So, water molecule will eventually make hydrogen bond, hydrogen bond. Uh, between the partially negative side and partially positive side between the glucose and the water molecules itself. So this, uh, this is called as hydration shell. Next one is high density of water. So water molecule is at maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. So at 4 degrees Celsius, the heat energy is low. So kinetic energy of water molecule is also low. So the hydrogen bond between water molecule is less likely to break and reform. So it is at maximum density when water molecules is at 4 degrees Celsius. And when the water molecules is freeze, which is at zero degrees Celsius, it is expanding and it forms a crystalline lattice structure and it has large gaps between the molecules. So there are a lot of open space. So um, when the water molecule freeze at zero degrees Celsius, it is at the lowest density. So that's why the ice floats on water. 
Next is transparency. <coughs> light source can penetrate through the water because of its transparency. Therefore, it enables photosynthesis to occur in the lake or ocean. Next one is reactivity, where water can take part in chemical reaction in the body metabolism. Okay, it can take part in either cellular respiration or in photosynthesis. The last part is cohesion and adhesion properties. For cohesion and adhesion, it is basically results uh, by the hydrogen bond. Cohesion is the uh, attraction between the water molecules and adhesion is uh, the attraction of water molecules with another uh, substance. Okay, so cohesion and adhesion both helps uh, to transport water against gravity in plants and um, cohesion also can result in surface tension and it will allow small insects to walk on the surface of water. So that's all for properties of water. Bye!